Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video to show you how I've added my logo to both the startup screen at the beginning of Betaflight, but also have a graphical logo on the on-screen display rather than the standard text-based pilot name that we're all used to using with Betaflight. Now to do this, you need to be using one of the Brain FPV flight controllers, either the new Radix or the Brain FPV RE1, which is the flight controller that I've got inside this quadcopter here. Now this is the quadcopter that was built in the quadcopter building series 3 and is one of my favorite quads mainly because of that on-screen display it's a vector based on-screen display and it looks fantastic and brain fpv just re recently released this ability to add your own logo and graphics to the startup screen but also and have that pilot name as well now i've just got all this working and figured it out and i thought i'd just share it and just show you the steps that you go through it's not as tricky as it looks because what you're going to do is create two graphics files with a transparent background with just black and white one will be the big image that's there on the splash screen when beta flight starts up and the second one will replace the pilot name or the craft name and then once you've created those two Brain FPV's goodness will create a custom version of Betaflight that you download and flash onto your flight controller that includes those two graphics as well. So when you start it up, it's all there and it's all ready to be configured. Now, the hardest thing, in my humble opinion, is actually making sure that you have two graphics files that are going to work. Now, you can use any graphics editor that you really want. If you don't have one, you want a free one. Uh, I like GIMP. It's a horrible name but fantastic application and you want to create two graphics the first one is a 300 by 160 pixel image you want the background to be transparent and you want it to be either all white or all black pixels that's the one that's going to be shown at the beginning instead of the beta flight logo and then for the pilot logo it can be 240 by 60 pixels but be careful of that that's actually still quite big in the screen so i would recommend that if you're going to have quite a solid logo like my painless 360 pill make it an awful lot smaller otherwise you can't have it on the screen all the time which kind of defeats the object of the exercise once you've got those two logo pieces then you've done the majority of the hard work i'd recommend saving the files as png files that's what i did here and it worked fantastically well Go onto the Brain FPV website, set yourself up an account, and once you've logged in using that account, then you can use the tool. So what you do is you click on the top, go to Logo Customizer. There's all logos that you can download already, or you can click on Read This Post at the top, and it'll take you into the instructions on how you do it. So again, there's the information that I've just kind of gone through, and those little red banners kind of give you an idea of how big it's going to be on the screen. So I'll show you my original attempt at a pilot logo that was way too big and what I've actually ended up using that was the one we've just looked at. So once you've got that done, scroll down to the upload your logo here and upload both of the files, both the splash screen logo and the smaller pilot logo as well. Uh, give it a name and also give it a description because that information is going to uh, be stored in the brain fpv system and there's also appended to the file name for the custom beta flight firmware that you download at the end of the process while i'm just doing that i'll quickly draw your attention to the original pilot logo that's the one i had that was the full 60 pixel height way way too big i think if you're going to have something in the pilot logo unless it's something like a like a very flourished writing style with lots of spaces in it i'd probably use a third of that height just to move things out of the way so once you've uploaded the splash screen logo let me just upload and replace the pilot logo so it's um, the right one there we are that's much better uh, then once you've done that you click on create splash screen logo under the main graphic and once you've done that if you scroll up you see your splash screen logo has been created you can see it here click on the here and that will then take you to the download page and this again is a custom firmware you can either have these as private or available for other people to download i've currently set mine as private but if you wanted me to make it available then leave a comment down below and i'll unhide it two versions of the code at the bottom one for the version 3.3 of beta flight one for version 3.2.4 of beta flight and both versions for either the brain re1 or the radix flight controller depending what you've got 
So you click on one of those red buttons, that then downloads the hex file that you copy onto your hard drive and then use the Betaflight configurator to load it as normal. Once you've done that, then when you power it on next time, you get the wonderful welcome screen and then you can also configure in Betaflight either to have the standard text-based pilot name, so I would normally have Painless 360, or whether or not you want the graphic displayed as well. I personally would recommend having your FPV goggles or a screen and the quad powered up as you move the on-screen display around because the way it appears uh, in the GUI for Betaflight and the way it actually appears in the beautiful vector display for the Brain FPV RE1 and the Radix are slightly different. So I would just use the live feed from your quad just to make sure that everything is positioned perfectly. I found that I had to have the name, if I'm going to use the logo, I had to have the pilot name one column lower and it appeared beautifully in the top. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that already have some brain FPV goodness. It now means that with a little bit of effort with a graphics editor, you can have your own custom startup and your own custom pilot logo too. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.